Hello there, and welcome back to Wasteland 2, Early Access Beta. Alright, so it's been a few days since I've uploaded a part. I'm sorry about that, folks. I've had some stuff going on, and I also have the uh, other Let's Plays that I'm working on as well. I've got the, the Shadowrun Returns Dragonfall series, which you may want to check out. I've also got my uh, uh, Endless Space series running as well, so got a couple different irons uh you know in the fire but I'm, I'm back focused here on on wasteland so let's see when we left off uh we were uh, talking to this npc jezebel and she basically told us that the red scorpions which is essentially a i guess like a mercenary group uh the town here high pool pays them for extra security and it's kind of wishy-washy whether or not they actually respond uh, and in this case, this lady has been essentially tormented by them, and she has uh, uh, some money left by her father, and there's three red scorpions in another part of the building here that are trying to steal her dowry. So we're going to go deal with those guys in a second, but before I do that, I wanted to show you guys that I did do a little bit of some weaponsmithing. I broke down a good portion of like the pistols that I had and knives and other stuff. So let me click over here to miscellaneous. Uh, and even though this uh, mod right here doesn't have a an actual icon other than a weapons part icon, this is actually a, a mod for an edged weapon. So as you can see there, it requires one weapon smithing, uh, keen edge mark one. Don't know what it does. Uh, I'm guessing it adds some damage or something. I, I, I don't know. Um, then we've got, uh, let's see, we have uh, Long Range Scope Mark 1 modifiers there, plus 5 to outside optimal chance to hit. Then we've got a Mid Range Scope, plus 5% chance to hit. And we have Quick Release Magazine Mark 1. I'm assuming that reduces the amount of AP to reload. I mean, that makes sense to me. So let's see. We are going to grab... Uh, let's see. I'm going to give this a whirl, even though I haven't had much le luck with weaponsmithing. We're, we're, we're going to test this out. So I'm going to give this uh, M41 here, uh, which was... Who'd I take? Arlo's? Okay. This is Arlo's M41. We're going to try to modify it so we'll do let's see all items and what do we want to put on there let's let's try this quick release thing right click to use okay and then what do we want to use it on okay are you sure you want to apply the quick release magazine to the m41 yes okay and as we can see there magazine quick release uh, at the bottom there, minus two reload AP. Very cool. All right, now, can we attach this mid-range scope? Don't know, but we're going to try. Are you sure you want to apply? Yes. So now it has, you can see, it has both. That's really cool. Now, I think what I'll do, actually... Hmm. Should I leave that with Arlo? Or should I give it to... Yeah, I, I am going to leave it with Arlo, actually. Let's see. Let's look at his character portrait. Oop. Nope, 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 nope. What am I doing? Switch over here to Arlo. Okay. Let's see. For skills, he's got Assault Rifles 3. And he has 10 action points. Yeah, I'm going to leave it with him. I, I would give it to Angela, but even though I have... Uh, even though I have four leadership and extremely high charisma ever since this latest build. I mean, I have six charisma and four leadership. I still lose control of Angela, uh, and I didn't have that problem before this most recent build, uh, which, as you can see over here, is uh, 34119, uh, which is the build from February of 2014. So I, I'm not sure what the deal is there. Uh, I'm going to continue to invest in leadership, hoping that that solves the problem, but um, she's breaking off in combat far more often than she used to. Okay, so 
Looks like we successfully modded a weapon. That's the first time I've been able to do that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I've gotten you up to date on where we're at, so we're going to get back into the action here. Go around over here, and we're going to deal with these red scorpion guys. And Actually, I think what I'm going to do is go like this, and I don't really want to talk to anybody. But it looks like you have to. Do you have to? Can't I just shoot him? Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot him. I don't want to talk to him. There we go. <laughs> uh, it was gonna be a boring conversation anyway. <laughs> if you don't get that reference, I want you to stop watching this video. And I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to tell you. But you better understand that reference. Okay, let's see. We're gonna go... Hmm. Over here, take a shot. Uh, yeah. Because I, I don't want to have this, I don't want to have uh, this character blocked in, so. Take this shot. There we go. And... Nice. Good shot. Wow. Very nice. And he gets to shoot again. All right. Great. Let's take this guy. And let's move over. Actually, we'll just move. Yeah, we'll move over here. Okay. And how much health does this guy have left? Four, huh? Can I get to him with the knife this turn? I don't think so. Oh, huh? actually, yes, I can. Come on. Come on. He's like up against the wall or something, so it's kind of wigging out. Let me change the camera. There we go. Nice! Always good to save the ammo. Always good. Okay, switch back. Highlight everyone. Hit reload. Alright, let's grab whatever we got here. Goes to the dock. Weapon goes down here to her, so she can break it down. Basically what I do is, I have uh, Stafford carry most of the like miscellaneous extra ammo and all that kind of stuff, because he's the strongest person in the group. Oh, 30 out 6 rounds. Excellent. Let's get that. Summer. And then weapons I'm giving to... Uh, I'm giving to Summer at this point, right? because she has the ability to break them down, so. As a matter of fact, let's look real quick at her inventory. Is there anything else we wanna? Yeah, I'll go ahead and break down these clubs. More weapons parts. Weapons parts, uh, you do wanna hold on. I think I mentioned that before, you do wanna hold on to them. Uh, they, um, they can be used, my understanding is they can be used to supply, for lack of a better term, the vendors or technicians in the Ranger Citadel. Basically allows them to resupply and offer different types of weapons and whatnot. Uh, so they do have a purpose, they're not worthless. So giving those to them is, I guess, helpful. So just something to bear in mind. Um, I'm keeping some of these weapons, actually, the only reason I'm keeping them is to sell them. Any of the smaller weapons, for the most part, I'm breaking down. Uh, also, the, you know, like knives and stuff like that, um, or big blunt weapons, way more, whereas the weapons parts are only one pound each, as you can see. Uh, we do have another scope. So now that it looks like that's working, I guess I'll have... Modif since mods look like they're working, I guess I'll go ahead and modify... her rifle. Yeah, okay. She want to apply the long range scope mark one to the hunting rifle uh do i or do i want to wait for a better rifle nah i'll do it okay so now she's got uh plus five outside optimal chance to hit okay 
not exactly sure what that does. Um, I don't know if that increases the range or if it help. I mean, if there's a certain at a certain distance that kicks in. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. I, I guess her dowry's in the safe, which we're not going to steal from her. However, there was something over here that we could snag, so we are going to. Okay. Some ammo. Uh, and a Teddy Ru Ruxpin. Okay, absolutely taking that with us, because that's awesome. <laughs> I love that that kind of stuff's in the game. I do. Absolutely love it. Alright. Now she's going to talk about her father. He went on a quest. Okay. Let's see if she'll tell us anything about that quest. No. Okay. And I'll ask uh, father. I'll just ask again. Anything? No. Alright. Okay. Not everyone's flashy for uh, the little flashy bar for going up a level, so until until everyone is, I, I'm not going to bother with it, so we'll get it in the next encounter. Okay, everyone's good, right, ammo-wise? Yep, okay. For some reason, can't get in these trunks, like it's like impossible, uh, which is weird to me because it's it is impossible. It's like, okay. I mean... Uh, skills. Let's look here. Lockpicking 3? I mean, this is really early on in the game for this to be an impossible locker. So, I don't know if it's bugged or, or what, but um, my plan is to come back later and, and deal with those. I don't know. Is this one impossible also? I don't remember. Oh no, see I can open this one. Okay. Some energy cells, another kit. Some cash, okay. Um now, see, I don't know if using this thing's good or bad. I'm thinking I'm going to leave it alone. That's that move. Stop! Where are you? I need that ammo five minutes ago. Here we go. Let's take. Let's bring Angela up here. She's got a decent shot on this guy. Well, 48. That's not great, but we'll take it. Oh, that was a good hit. Some of the townspeople are fighting these wreckers. Well, that cover didn't last very long, did it? The destructible, uh, destructible environments are is cool, uh, but uh, you know, not so cool when it doesn't go your way, like like that. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, we're going to. Hmm. Well, we need to close the distance. So we'll go ahead and move up. 34%. Okay, that sucks. 22%. That sucks. Alright. Then we're gonna go ahead and run all the way forward. What I've noticed is that these guys don't don't really change their positioning, so the likelihood of this wrecker like coming over here or something to take a shot is is unlikely. And when you're behind full cover like this, they generally miss. So it's usually a safe move. It shouldn't be, right? Firing back and forth over a crate. It shouldn't be safe to be there, but it sort of kind of is, which is silly. Um, but hey, it is what it is, right? Okay, I'm going to cut over here. 53%. Yeah, I'll take that shot. 
Oh, God. Yeah, okay, that was stupid on my part. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> Let me line my guy up and then shoot him in the back. Oh, yeah, that was stupid. I'm going to edit that out. No, I'm not. <laughs> I should, though. I should. Okay, let's see. Uh, let me come down. Might be able to get... Not going to be able to get in great range. I think I'm going to run... Should I run across? I think since there's... Is there still... Yeah, there's still kind of... Killing this townie or whatever over here. I think I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that. And move up as far as I can this turn. Because shooting from that range wasn't going to do me any good anyway. And likewise, I'm going to run the doctor up. Since he's melee only. Which a couple of people have said they thought was crazy. But, you know, so far, it's worked out. Okay. There we go. Uh, townie's holding his own. see okay we're gonna go here and take this shot yeah that's right in turn let's see what do we got here we're gonna move over here I'm surprised this town is still alive actually oh and he's not <laughs> okay now I gotta deal with these melee guys. So let's see. Hmm. Should I do a burst? Uh, I really don't like to do burst. Waste the ammo, but... 75% uh, chance? Nah, I'll just do a single. And then move... I'll move... A Cross? You know what? I think I'll move here. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna go right here, and I'm gonna go on ambush. Yeah. Good doctor there can guard her. Okay, let's finish this guy off. Nice. Should I waste the bullet? Eh. 96% chance to hit. But I don't want to use the bullet. I'm actually just gonna reload with her and in turn. Okay, let's see. We swap weapons. And see if I can finish this guy off. Nope, okay. Then we're gonna move back. There we go. And I'm actually gonna put him on ambush. And. She'll take the shot. There we go. Two hit points left. I'm not wasting a shot on that guy. I'm gonna reload. Or in turn, I guess. Nope. Swap weapons, ambush, in turn, in turn. Okay, so we'll swap weapons and then we'll go hit this guy with a wrench. Sounds good. Nice. There we go. And now that everyone has a flash or level up deal. We will, uh, we'll call in for that. So let's see. Let's switch the weapons back real quick. 
actually I'm gonna make a I'll make a cut right here folks uh, that way I can pick up all this loot and and do a little inventory management and then come back to you okay I'll be back with you in just a minute okay folks welcome back so I, I didn't pick up really anything all that interesting I, I have a couple more weapons um, which I am gonna go ahead and break down but other than that, not not really a whole a whole heck of a lot. It's really just stuff that at this point that I can uh, sell. As soon as I get get in town here, I can trade it off for really what I'm going to shoot for is <laughs> uh, no pun intended since they're guns. Uh, but what I'm going to try for is to just trade out for some some ammo. Okay, so. Um, there actually is a, another person that we need to talk to, which is back this away. Um, you actually run through this little rock face and go talk to a guy, but um, I'm not going to do that in, in this episode. I'm actually going to go up further up uh, towards High Pool, clear out, clear out the rest of the wreckers, and then I'll come back and talk to that guy before I actually go into High Pool. Um, now, the reason I'm doing that is because there have been a lot of changes and supposedly now, both High Pool and the Ag Center can actually fall. Like, you can lose them both. And I don't know if that's time-sensitive or not. So, I am going to uh, assign my points here real quick. Actually, you know what? I'll do that at the beginning of the next video. So, we'll start off with um, assigning the skill points to the folks that just leveled up. Uh, and then we'll we'll proceed up to the the big the big wrecker fight um, further up towards high pool. So I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. As always, I do look forward to your comments and feedback. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I am Mal, and I will see you later.